Hey everyone, welcome to today's presentation of the Intentional Entrepreneur Academy by J. Allen Hall & Co. Our motto is learn to live, not just exist. And before I forget, remember to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button so that you can get more great content from the Intentional Entrepreneur Academy and J. Allen Hall & Co. So today's presentation is going to be about uh, living benefits life insurance. Basically, learning how to get paid to live and not die. And of course, your presenter is J. Allen Hull, or as everybody calls me, Josh. And I am a speaker, writer, and intentional living mentor and financial educator. So let's go ahead and jump right in with uh, our presentation of living benefits. Of course, the first question is, what are living benefits? Well, it's a real simple definition. Li living benefits are a life insurance policy that will pay up to 75 to 90 percent of the face value of your policy if you live through something that should have killed you. Uh, it's not something that you have to pay extra for. It's wrapped right into the cost of the policy that you're already paying for. And the cost is very affordable. It's oftentimes uh, the same or sometimes even less than what you would pay for traditional death, ben death only benefits. The next question is who are living benefits for? Well, living benefits life insurance is for everyone. Kids, parents, grandparents, married or single persons, everyone. And everybody needs this because you just never know when things are going to happen. I was only 30 years old when I had a heart attack and stage 2 kidney failure and was told I would never work again. And so you never know how old you're going to be. You never know when you're going to need it. It is definitely for everyone. The third question is... Why do I need living benefits? Well, statistics show that 9 out of 10 people will have a negative uh, health event or life event during their lifetime that will prevent them from working. This might be an accident. This might be, in my case, uh, a heart attack, an unexpected heart attack, or someone may have a stroke or be diagnosed with cancer. And so this is exactly what living benefits was uh, and is designed for. So we're going to go ahead and talk about how do living benefits help you? Well, the first thing is that they protect your retirement fund, your savings. You know, when we aren't able to work, when we're diagnosed with something, the first part of our financial household that is attacked by ourselves is our savings or our retirement. I certainly know when I was told I'd never work again, that was the first thing that we did because I didn't have living benefits. I hadn't heard about them at that time. And because of that, we cleared out my 401k and my wife's 401k. We paid fees and taxes and penalties and lost a lot of money to that. And then in the end, that money didn't last very long. And so the, the problem is, is that once things got better, as far as for me, that I could build a business and do things, uh, we were left with no retirement at that time. And so we had to start over once we started building our business. Again, living benefits help you to protect that so that you don't have to worry about drawing on that money to, to uh, pay the bills. And that leads us to number two. They pay everyday bills for you. Uh, health insurance isn't going to pay your mortgage, your rent, uh, your car payment, your grocery bill, or even Netflix. You know, And I don't know about you, but if I were laid up for several months or even years, I definitely want to ha have the opportunity to binge watch my favorite shows like Star Trek or, uh, in my wife's case, Friends. So that's what you can use them for. You can use them for anything, really, um, that's going to help you to continue that quality of life that you have uh, right now without having to sacrifice. And the third way that they help is... Uh, that they can pay for treatment. So a lot of times insurance, again, we might have health insurance, but we might have a high deductible. We might have to pay the first five or 10 or 15 or even $20,000. And so you can use the living benefits to pay for that. However, health insurance doesn't always cover everything health related, including experimental treatments. We've actually had clients who received living benefits from their life insurance and then use the money 
to go to either Mexico or Europe for some experimental treatments or treatments that are common there but not approved by the FDA here. And they were able to pay for them in cash because they had the money and it definitely helped them and helped them to live a better quality of life or even uh, to overcome whatever it was that had set them back. So there are four ways that living benefits term term life insurance or uh, we even have permanent life insurance with living benefits but there's four ways that it pays out the first obviously is critical illness and by that we mean things like a heart attack a stroke a car accident or any accident something that is unexpected and happens suddenly and that's what a critical illness is defined as the other is a chronic illness so that is defined as anything that will be ongoing and prevents you from work. Uh, You know, again, like kidney disease is going to be ongoing. Diabetes is going to be ongoing. These are things that uh, you may have to take a year off work to get under control or uh, or that you may not be able to return to work because of. Uh, In which case, another fun fact about living benefits is that you don't have to receive that money in one lump sum. So for example, if you had a million dollar policy and you got $750,000 awarded to you in living benefits after filing a claim, um, you can either take that in one lump sum or you could take that money and you can tell the company, please just send monthly payments. And that way you know that it's going to last for a while and help you get through this chronic illness and uh, or at least pay for things until you know you can apply for dis- uh, social security disability, which by the way takes forever, believe me, I've been down that road. And uh, you know you can go ahead and, and have money there in the meantime. The third way is terminal illness. So by this, we're talking about any disease that cannot be cured and will shortly lead to death or has a high mortality rate. Uh, For example, certain cancers um, or other uh, motor uh, diseases, disabilities, things that the doctor tells you, you've got, you know, 12 months to live, six months to live, 24 months to live. And when the doctor tells you that, you can actually forward, uh, you know, again, up to 90% of your living benefits, uh, uh, the the amount of the the policy. And, you know, you can use that again to see if there's experimental treatments that might uh, help you out better or to pay off the house, get things in order before you die so that you when your when your significant other, your children, whoever it is, are grieving they and adjusting to their new normal without you they don't have to also worry about trying to collect insurance make payments and do all of these things because you've taken care of it or you can use it to create memories Uh, i know that if i knew i only had a year to live i would definitely want to have the money available um, to yeah pay off bills but also take some vacations maybe go on some dream vacations with my family pay for all of them to come and and spend my time with them so that once I'm gone, they have got some great memories of those last few months, weeks, years, whatever it might be. Um, so again, the living benefits comes, uh, you know, is definitely a blessing in a time of diagnosis of a terminal illness. And of course, it is life insurance. And so the fourth way that it pays out is a death benefit. Um, It still works like any other traditional death insurance. And yes, I said death insurance because if your life insurance doesn't have living benefits with it, then the only way to collect is if you die. Therefore, it's not life insurance, it's death insurance. Real life insurance has living benefits that will pay you to live, will pay you to maintain your quality of life versus having to die to uh, collect and then again leaving those that you've left behind struggling to mourn and yet still try to do pay the bills and figure all this out at the same time so again uh, those are the four ways that uh, living benefits life insurance pays out Um, and the other reason just another little fun fact the other reason why they don't give you a hundred percent why they save between 10 to 25 percent is for a couple of reasons. One, so that they can pay it out tax-free because death benefits, life insurance benefits are considered tax-free. And so if they save a little bit back to pay after you die, 
then they can consider that all as one benefit and it comes out tax free. But the other thing is too, is so that you'd still have a little bit of money. Be, you know, maybe you needed to to forward those living benefits uh, and take advantage of them, and you got through whatever struggle it was, and life is good. And and then down the road, you you pass away. They, you still want to have some money there to help pay for the funeral and things of that nature. So again, there's that going to be that money there to help you out, and that's exactly why they they don't give you the full amount when uh, you apply for the living benefits payout. So. The next question, of course, I'm sure you're asking is, what should I do next? This was a really quick explanation. Um, I think it's a it's a very simple concept, but people don't understand it. And so I wanted to put this out there. Very simple, very quick explanation. So if you are interested in learning more, there's two steps that I would recommend doing. Number one, obviously, click the link. Um, there's a link in the description, the video description that you can click on, or you can go directly to my website, uh, jallenhall.com slash living benefits to learn more and see actual people who use their living benefits to save their financial household. See those, uh, testimonials. There's one who, uh, received $425,000 after being attacked in the parking lot of her work and, and doused with diesel fuel and burned. Uh, there's uh, another one who is a cancer survivor who used her living benefits for experimental treatment and to travel and to create a, a dream job of, a, of being a motivational speaker and live through her cancer because of that treatment and was able to uh, you know, go on with her life and, and her little girl. She was a single mom. Um, so there's there's a couple of different two, three stories on there, uh, as well as some more videos that explain uh, what li- uh, Living Benefits Life Insurance is about. So definitely click the link, take a look at that. Now, once you click the link, there's also several buttons on there that's going to give you an opportunity to make an appointment. Go ahead, uh, click the link, make an appointment, with with myself or with uh, one of my the other uh, living benefits life insurance professionals and uh, ha- get a free consultation. First of all, if you have life insurance, we can tell you if your current life insurance includes living benefits. We can look at your policy and let you know. Um, or if you don't have uh, life insurance, we can show you how inexpensive they are. If you don't have any uh, current life insurance, we can show you how affordable uh, living benefits life insurance is. So those would be my next two steps that I would recommend to learn a little bit more. We're never going to charge you to meet with us. Um, so you can ask as many questions as you want. You can, you know, have us do a little shopping around for you, get some quotes and make the decision on your own, make an educated decision. But definitely, definitely, uh, if you are anybody, an entrepreneur, uh, a, a stay-at-home mom, a working dad, a working mom, a grandparent, whoever you might be, I would definitely look into living benefits for yourself and your loved ones to make sure that everybody has that coverage in case something tragic uh, does happen and you need to access money in a hurry without having to deplete your savings or your retirement fund if you have one. So, Thank you so much for coming today, for checking out this video. Um, Again, this is a presentation of the uh, Intentional Entrepreneur Academy. Please hit the like, the subscribe, and the notification bell, and uh, so that way you get more great content. And feel free to contact me directly um, or click that link and make an appointment on my calendar. So thank you so much for your time. And again, Living Benefits Life Insurance, it is for everyone. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell to get more great content.